Hello everyone, welcome to Erudite Political. My name is Udbasra Sheikh and in this video we will be discussing Unit 8 of UGC NTA Net GRF Paper First that is Information and Communication Technology. इस unit में चार topics broadly divided हैं जिन्हें हमें cover करना है. पहला topic है ICT that involves general abbreviations and terminologies. Second is basics of internet, intranet, email, audio and video conferencing. Third is digital initiatives in higher education. And the fourth one is ICT and governance. So, हर साल net JRF के paper first में, हर set में, एक question ICT के abbreviations या terminologies के उपर आता ही है. So, इस video में मैंने try किया है कि previous year से जितने भी आज तक abbreviations पूछे गए हैं ICT के, वो सारे उन सब के full form सम लोग देख लें. So, इस वीडियो में जितने भी मैंने ICT के abbreviations और terminologies बताए हैं, वो बहुत important हैं, वो previous year questions में पूछे गए हैं, और वो repetitively पूछे जाते हैं. So, now let's discuss, these are the most important. So, video को start करने से पहले, you should take your copy and pen and just wrote them down. So, it will help you while you are revising, right? And if not, then you can also take screenshots if you are comfortable in that. So, now the first one is AI. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. Next is ALGOL. So, it stands for Algorithmic Language. Next is ABEND. It stands for Abnormal End. Next is AMD. So, it stands for Advanced Micro Devices. Next is APRANET, that is APRANET. So, it stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Next is AMD. AMD stands for Advanced Micro Devices. Next is BIPS. It stands for Billions of Instructions Per Second. Next is BASIC that is basic and it stands for Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Next is CAE. It stands for Computer Aided Engineering. Next is CAN. It stands for Campus Area Network. Next is CDC. It stands for Control Data Corporation. Next is CDR. CDR stands for Compact Disc Recorder. Another one is CPS. CPS stands for Character Per Second. Another one is CL. It stands for command language. Next is CLI. CLI stands for command line interface. Another one is CRT. CRT stands for cathode ray tube. Next is DAT. DAT stands for digital audio tape. Next is DFD. It stands for data flow diagram. Next is DDL. DDL stands for data definition language. Another one is DDS. DDS stands for digital data storage. Next is DNA. So, DNA stands for digital network architecture. Next is DTS. So, DTS stands for Digital Theater System. Another one is DOS. DOS stands for Disk Operating System. Next is EPG. EPG stands for Electronic Programming Guide. Next is FDD. FDD stands for Floppy Disk Drive. 
another one is hdd hdd stands for hard disk drive next is hss so hss stands for hierarch so hss stands for hierarchical storage system another one is ibm ibm stands for international business machine next is itv itv stands for interactive television next is gsm gsm stands for global system for mobile communication next is gias so gias stands for gateway internet access system next is lan lan stands for local area network next one is led led stands for light emitting diode next one is mms 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 stands for multimedia messaging service next is nic nic stands for network interface card next is ocr so ocr stands for optical character recognition another one is omr OMR stands for optical mark reader another one is OSI OSI stands for open system interconnection another one is OSS it stands for open source software next is PAN that is personal area network next is PDF it stands for portable document format next is prom it stands for programmable read only memory next is ram ram stands for random access memory another one is rom so rom stands for read only memory now the next is ssi so ssi stands for small scale integration another one is sim sim stands for subscriber identity module alu alu stands for arithmetic logic unit next is ascii so it stands for american standard code for information interchange next is asr that is automatic send and receive next is atm so that stands for automated teller machine next is bcd it stands for binary coded decimal then comes bios that stands for basic input output system next is bis that is business information system then bps it is for bits per second next is trp so it stands for television rating point next is cad so it stands for computer aided design next is cam so it stands for computer aided manufacturing next is case case so it stands for computer aided software engineering next is cd it stands for compact disk then come cd rom that is cd rom so it stands for compact disk read only memory next is cobol it stands for common business oriented language next is cps it stands for characters per second next is cpu it stands for central processing unit next is crom it stands for control read only memory then come CRT it stands for cathode ray tube then come DBMS it stands for database 
management system next is dos it stands for disk operating system next is dpi it stands for dots per inch next is dtp it stands for desktop publishing another one is dvd it stands for digital versatile disk next is eeprom it stands for electronically erasable programmable read only memory next is eprom it stands for erasable programmable read only memory another one another one is fm so fm stands for frequency modulation next is fortan it stands for formula translation next is ftp it stands for file transfer protocol next is gb so gb stands for gigabyte next is kb kb stands for kilobyte next is gigo so it stands for garbage in garbage out next is gui so it stands for graphical user interface next is html so it stands for hypertext markup language next is http so it stands for hypertext transfer protocol next is hz so it stands for hertz next next is ip so ip stands for internet protocol another one is iso iso stands for international standards organization next is isp isp stands for internet service provider next is lan next is lan that is lan so it stands for local area network another one is lcd so lcd stands for liquid crystal display next is man that is man so it stands for metropolitan area network next is mb mb stands for megabyte another one is micr so it stands for magnetic ink character recognition another one is ns ns stands for nanosecond so yes this was all for today's video and if you find this video helpful and useful then please subscribe to our channel like share and comment on this video aur comment kariye ki aap kaun sa naya topic padhna chahenge we will be prior to so we will prioritize that topic too jo hamare subscribers dekhna chahenge and do share this channel with your classmates and whomsoever you find it would be helpful or relevant and stay tuned for more upcoming helpful videos and thank you